things that you can do with nothing is insane. You don't really need anything other than just the desire. That's where punk came from. That's where hardcore came from. You could sit around and wait for someone to do something for you, or you can do it right now. We are triple S, man. Skate society, so we don't. We skate and we punk rock the hell out of South Africa. So we're as punk as it gets. Things like riots and movements to get the government to do what's right. If it is being done by the community of a Soweto township, that thing will be done. These people get what they want. And that is so punk, and none of them are aware. There's quite a number of bands that have risen since we started our band. So playing in my neighborhood today, maybe we might just plant some new rockers, you know? And more skaters. When we all like form Triple S, the essence of it is like helping kids. It was just gonna be like a whole skateboarding umbrella for everybody that needed anything skate related. There's kids like me that also wanna skate, but their parents don't understand. And the people that are in positions to help don't wanna help. So that's why Skate Society started. We're doing what we can, you know what I mean? Even if it's not much, but we're giving. I guess one person can have a big impact. And Skate Society, so it did really impact the whole of South Africa. Bugwanisi 我的爸爸妈妈就是他们从来没看过演出然后我爸爸看过一次但是我还没开始的时候他就走了他觉得太吵了然后就感觉自己没有一个可以容纳接纳我的群体原来是这样我就做我自己就可以了然后通过这种音乐然后结识了特别多就是在其他地方也和我一样的人然后不光就不是说这音乐表达音乐的一种方式我说生活当中也可以表达这种方式属于自己的文化然后思表达自己思想running a record label. It's not like a team thing where everyone can divide the jobs. So you gotta really love records. There wasn't that much going on in UK hardcore in terms of female participation in bands. There were women put in on shows and there were women who were photographers, but there weren't as many women on stage. So I thought, I'm just gonna have to pick up a guitar and just learn it myself. <laughs> so then I just started doing that. I've definitely had one person come up to me and say, oh, like, I also feel more comfortable now because I've seen you play. So it's just like, oh, well, that's brilliant. There's such a great range and diversity when it comes to gender now in UK hardcore. Aí, quando eu comecei a ouvir punk e hardcore, que deu aquele estalo, poxa, essas pessoas são igual, iguais a mim, elas não têm dinheiro, elas fazem arte, fazem hardcore, e é tudo que eu gosto, se eles conseguem, eu faço também. Aí eu comecei a desenhar, 
E aí eu vi que tinha tudo a ver, a minha arte com hardcore, porque é estilo de vida. Eu saio pra fora, vou fazer, vou colar pôster, vou fazer um stencil. Então isso, a arte e música, pra mim, é uma coisa libertária, pra você se libertar. O hardcore me ensinou, tanto é, pro lado de você ser positivo, como a arte me ensinou a se superar. Então se não fosse o hardcore na minha vida, eu não sei o que eu seria. Going to punk shows was the first time that I'd been around other people. They were like, I like music, you know, like I want to go to a show on the weekend or I want to play in a band. And be like people with safety pins on shirts that were spray painted and their hair all crazy and they had bad teeth. It was almost like the uglier you were, the sicker your band was. You can embrace that you were a freak and be freaky and be accepted. So I started going to thrift stores and I'd buy like, shit that didn't even fit me and like cut off the legs and like put it on. And that's the cool thing about DIY is like, you make something yourself, like that's yours and like no one else can have it. There's no right way to paint. There's no right way to sing a song. There's no right way to do anything. If you're like an artist in any capacity, nothing should stop you. DIY is the ultimate fuck you to anyone who says that you can't, because you can't.